Hi, I'm Brian Holby. I'm one of the product managers here at Jacobson. And beside me is the new TurfCat, the latest out front mower from Jacobson. The TurfCat features the only all hydraulic traction drive and deck drive system in its class. What that eliminates is all the drive shafts, the axles, belts, pulleys that you normally have to maintain. Overall, that reduces the number of grease points by more than 15. Over a year, that's $1,000 and annual savings that you can see from this unit. In addition, there's more than 200 fewer service parts. Over the entire life of this unit, you can, this is the lowest cost of ownership unit in the market. Now let me take you a quick walk around, show you some of the key features of the new TurfCat. Under the hood is a reliable Kubota D1105 engine. Puts out 24.8 horsepower. It is a tier four final compliant engine, but doesn't have all of the added uh, filtration and technology needed on some of the higher horsepower versions. By flipping up the seat, you can access all the hydraulic filters and hydraulic linkages for your normal maintenance and upkeep of the unit. I'll put the seat back down here. Remember, if you are gonna take this unit out for operation, there are two bolts here that should be installed uh, to hold the seat down uh, for safety. One of the biggest new features on the TurfCat is the deck system. See, the deck has individual deck motors for each of the blades. That eliminates all the belts, the pulleys, uh, the spindles, as well as all the covers and everything that typically are on the front of the deck. It's a lot easier to maintain. There's zero grease fittings on any of those spindles. They're self-lubricated by the hydraulic oil. Uh, they're very durable. This is a proven motor that's been used for many years on the R311 and 9016, as well as the AR522 and 722. In order to install and uninstall the decks or any implements that you're using, there's quick neck fittings, uh, so it's very easy and quick to change out the implements. There's four different deck sizes available. There's a 60-inch rear discharge, 63-inch side discharge, 72-inch rear discharge, as well as a 72-inch side discharge. Each one of those decks has an optional uh, mulching kit, so you can use it year round, whether you need to mulch leaves or just want to mulch in general. The, the fifth cutting unit that's available is our fine cut flail. Fine cut flail is a great unit. It's a very multi-purpose unit. Uh, unlike the flails that you typically see on like a roadside or something like that, they're built heavy duty, uh, you know, and they don't leave a real good finish. This is, our flail is designed as a fine cut flail so you can cut down to the heights that are typically used on sports fields or in golf course rough and give you that nice fi fine finish that you're looking for because uh, it distributes all the clippings evenly across the width of the cut. Um, but it, it also is very versatile because you can take it into those areas where it's more native and you just want to knock down some of the grass um, you know, periodically throughout the year. In addition to the mowing attachments, there are several other implements that can be used on the front of the turf cap. There's a plow, a rotary broom, a snow blower, and a turbine blower. Add in a heated cab, and now you have a unit that can be used in any region at any time of the year. To make replacing the implements easy, there's quick connect fittings. They can easily be disconnected and reconnected without the use of any tools. As you can see, the belts, pulleys, and spindles have been replaced with individual deck motors for each blade. These deck motors is a proven design that's been used for many years on the 9016, the R311, AR522, and most recently on the 722. There's no greasing, adjusting, or anything that needs to be done over the life of the deck motors. One thing you'll notice on the front of the new turf cat is that you don't have any of those springs that were used previously for weight transfer. That has been integrated into the lift cylinder it's adjustable by a valve that's located up underneath the seat. The operator platform has also been updated. There's a standard foldable ROPS. Uh, there's two seat options. Both seats are factory installed. The seat on this unit here is our standard mechanical suspension. There is a premium, premium mechanical suspension seat, which adds about three inches of additional height uh, adjustment in suspension travel, as well as a tilt back seat for that extended for those extended hours that an operator might be in the seat. The brake pedal and traction pedal 
have been redesigned for better ergonomic use. Up here is the control panel. Up on the control panel, there's a multi-gauge which shows your fuel level, your hour meter, as well as uh, low battery voltage, your, whether your parking brakes are uh, applied or not, uh, and your engine diagnostics, your temperature and oil, oil pressure on your engine. Uh, there is a separate glow plug switch for those cold mornings. Uh, just be sure that you don't hold that button down for longer than seven seconds at, at any given time. Ignition switch, uh, PTO, uh, and then there is a lift lower switch down on the bottom uh, for lifting and lowering your implements. We've updated the drive system, but maintaining the cutting performance and reliability that you've come to depend on with the TurfCat. Mm -hmm.